Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Macon Campbell and this is Making Stuff. So I'm going to be doing a quick bonus video for this week in which I'll be making a chest mount harness for my GoPro. This is a GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition, which is probably about six or seven years old. It was the latest version when I got it. Now I could probably go out and buy a chest mount harness, but I watched a couple of videos on YouTube of people that made them themselves, so I thought I'd give it a try. Now the reason for me wanting a chest mount harness will become apparent in a future video, but uh, you're more than welcome to take a guess down in the comments below. I'll give you a hint, it has got nothing to do with the workshop. So let me explain to you what I've got here. So uh, most of the videos that I watched use this to make their harness. This is the display stand which you get with your GoPro when you buy it. Um, it's what is used to display the GoPro inside the box. Obviously I already had this. Um, I went out this morning and I bought uh, some webbing. I also got a bunch of buckles. This is probably way more than I need. A tiny little sewing kit and some thread. I'm hoping not to have to use the thread because I've never done any sewing in my life. I have a bunch of these uh, snap lock buttons left over from when I made my Leatherman pouch. If at all possible I'm not going to do any sewing, I'll use these snap lock buttons in place of sewing. If that doesn't work then uh, I'll just take them out at a later stage and I'll get my wife to sew them for me. I did however do a test uh, with the snap locks on this little piece of scrap that I cut off and I'm happy to say that it seems to be pretty strong. I don't think that it will come loose at all. Also once they are snapped in place I will not be opening and closing them as you'll see in my design later. With that being said, let's get started. Okay so the basic design will go something like this. Uh, this will be mounted to my chest. Um, I will have a strap going from either side around my back and then I will cut these pieces off at an angle and these will go over my shoulders. In one of the videos that I saw, the guy took the straps from here around his neck and back here. I don't really like that design, so I'm going to see if I can come up with a different way of doing it. Perhaps having this strap go all the way around, cross my back and then coming to this end. So then they'll be crisscrossing at the back and then I'll lock the center in place with one of these snap locks. So before we can get started on that, I'm going to have to mark out the pieces that I need to cut off as well as the slits that I need to cut for the webbing to go through. So uh, let's do it.
Okay, this next part is not at all necessary, but I thought I'd give it a try just to make it look a bit nicer. I have a ton of this carbon fiber vinyl that's lying around my shop, and I can never find a good enough excuse to use it, so I thought I'd use it here, um, seeing as I scuffed this up a little bit while I was sanding it. So I'm going to take one of these connectors, which is exactly the same size as the one that's on here, and I'm going to mark it out, cut it out, stick it over, and cut away the excess, and then I'll cut openings where these slits are. So let's do it. Okay, so now I just got to get the straps done. I cut a short piece of the webbing, which I'm going to demonstrate here. It's going to go in this side. Basically, it's going to go through here and I'm going to fold it over double at the back and I'm going to close it off like that. I'll do the same on this side one over here so these are going to be on my right side then on the other side I will attach webbing that's going to go all the way around and fasten in on these sides they're going to obviously crisscross at the back like I mentioned before that's my initial plan if it doesn't work I guess I'll change it later now I mentioned before that I was going to use these snap lock buttons uh, to tie these things together but I changed my mind uh, so what I'm going to be using instead are these eyelets which I bought so I did a test over here and uh, it seems to be working okay. I'm going to use this uh, punch to punch a hole through there and then I'll secure it with an eyelet. The ones on this side I'm going to do the same. I'm also going to fold it double, punch in an eyelet and it should be done. So let me cut another piece the same length as this and give it a shot. Okay, the place that sold these eyelets didn't have the right tool for crimping these but I noticed the one that I had for the snap locks fits nicely in here so this little flange over here can uh, push that over but then the problem that I had was it's not going to fit into there so, so I found a piece of scrap brass lying around I just drilled a hole in there the size of this thing and uh, I'm going to use that to crimp it over so let's give it a try go I think that looks okay how long it's gonna last remains to be seen so let's do the other side
It's not the prettiest solution, but uh, I think it's going to work. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two longer pieces, quite a bit longer than I need, and I'm going to put them in on this side, fix them with the eyelets, and uh, then I can do a test fit and see if it works. Okay, I think we're ready for our first test fit. Okay, this is the moment of truth. So look. Oh, I think that works. How well it's going to work remains to be seen. The tighter I pull it, the higher it wants to come up. But I suppose that's fine. I hope my beard isn't going to be in the way. Okay, I'm going to run upstairs quickly and get my wife to mark where it crisscrosses at the back. So I can secure it with one last eyelet and we should be done. Okay, I got my wife to put a fold back clip over there. So now I'm going to take it off carefully so I can see where the two pieces of webbing cross and then I'm going to fix them there. So let's just take it off as carefully as possible. Okay, so I think that turned out pretty good. We could definitely do a bit more tweaking, but I think as a proof of concept, I think it works great. How great, I'll have to see as soon as I start using it. Now, as I said, the reason for me making this will become clear in a future video, but I would definitely love to hear your guesses on what I'm gonna do with this. I can already think of quite a few things that I can use this for. I can definitely even use it in the shop, which was not my initial plan, but uh, now that I have it, um, I think it would be a great addition for when I'm working on things so that I can have that nice close-up first-person view of uh, whatever it is that I'm busy doing. All in all, I'm very happy with how it turned out. There are obviously still a couple of finishing touches that I'm going to add to it, but I'm running out of time now and I've got to get finished. So as always, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any suggestions or ideas about how I could change or improve upon this idea, uh, drop them in the comments below, share it with your friends and once again for the second time this week, till next time, keep making stuff.